Hi there, sign of Virgo. This is Kim here to do a next 48 hour reading for you. And I think I'm going to pull you guys the Celtic Cross. So thanks for joining me. If you end up liking this video, do a favor and hit the like button. Subscribe so you can come back and get more readings. I do um, offer private readings too if this resonates and you want to play more private. So let's get into this using everyday witch tarot okay what's the issue for Virgos what's the issue for Virgos <laughs> clearly it is the world reverse all right, let's just keep on going and we'll pull, we'll pull all the cards, the challenge <clears throat> to getting some kind of completion here, right? Ooh, this might be one, more than one King of Cup because if it's a challenge, if you, like this is usually my card for someone who's competing for your heart. Their heart beats on the same resonance as as yours does like you both would be moving forward in, in a new chapter in something out of well out of love the heart of the matter is the five of cups reverse so at the heart of the matter you're just ready to release something that was from the past and usually these are talking about some kind of heavy emotion Past energy for Virgo, past energy for Virgo. Wheel of Fortune, something was destined, destined to turn. This timing was like right for this. So the timing was right for something to turn <clears throat> for you. A new cycle. I don't necessarily attach the word karma to to it but um it's gonna feel like good fortune and it's something that is faded something that is like fixed in your timeline to happen no matter what i'm getting it is there something that's meant to happen no matter what um even if for some reason or another things have been delayed um like, don't worry about some kind of dream that, that's going to come true. Going to come true. Tell me about the crowning energy for Virgo. <clears throat> Virgo, I have the Hermit in reverse. Hmm. So, look, and with it touching this King of Cups, I can't help but say this is a person of integrity. This is somebody that when you come out of your shell, they're there. Maybe this person is always there for you. Maybe that's something very... Uh, sometimes people are there for us more in the spirit, obviously. Um, we can have really strong soulmate connections through um, spirit realm. And in, either physicality doesn't matter. You're always still... Your spirits are still together. It's very similar to uh, your family, but something a little bit different, especially when it's when it's somebody that's here to help you achieve something, achieve a goal, or um, yeah, meet your milestone, help you see that you can make a different decision, that help you get to your goal because there's some kind of struggle with. I don't know if it's something put in your way. Maybe it's just your the thinking. Maybe it's listening to needing to listen to your intuition. But there's something that's like blocking you from a dream, from a goal, and from hitting your milestones. And this person or this energy is specifically here to help you, help you release, help you to heal, to be part of this celebration, to move forward in life with you uh, in celebration for this new chapter. And this might be even something to them, that their new chapter two, you included. Right. 
Okay, how is Virgo feeling? How is Virgo feeling? What's the card for what Virgo's feeling? Well, yeah, like, like you've waited long enough. You may be losing patience, but it may be like, okay, I've waited enough, long enough. This is time for me to really commit to this. And you're going to do something different than last time. Not doing the same thing by letting go of the past or something from the past. <clears throat> so there's been a time. There's been a time thing. I, I'm getting delay. There's been a delay getting to this celebration to this point. What's in the environment for Virgo? Wow. That came out really quick. So this is not good energy for you. This is that type of energy where you're like, God, some people have even got given up a fight. Um, some people feel defeated. Some people feel constantly attacked. The five of swords is like, no, no more hanging around in this energy. Mm -mm. No, you have to definitely um, figure out a way to get past this uh, energy because it, this is staying in the storm. Um, somebody's going to help you with that goal. I don't know if that was your intention or if this is something. It's usually something that you've manifested. Maybe it's like soul contract and it's something you manifested with somebody else before you came here. <clears throat> because it feels like there's a very strong tie with this person being in your life almost like a specific time for a specific reason what's the hope or fear for virgo it's regarding work you really want something to work you would like the conflicts to stop or at least would like people to stop trying to pull you into their arguments <clears throat> You have to focus on work or you're wanting to focus on work with the Eight of Pentacles. It is the challenge at this time. And it might be that there's just some kind of drama making it hard to focus on work. What is the outcome looking like? This beautiful uh, reading that has a new chapter. I have the Page of Swords. Good. This is good news or news, a message. Um, communicating something clearly news package letter communicating something clearly what you didn't see coming being open to more possibilities and paths opening up tell me something else with that star in reverse the waiting is has caused a feeling of disappointment well the waiting has caused a feeling of disappointment and is i got to you this is oh, sorry so stupid <laughs> anyway tower energy so is sudden change abrupt change um sometimes this is a good tower coming in to shake up things it's almost like um let's get let's get some clarification it's almost like this person's here for a specific to help you to help with what's being said or to help you communicate. All right, so obviously letting go of the past is a good thing. Um, <clears throat> tell me more about the disappointment though. What are what or who are we disappointed in? Who is Virgo disappointed in? Oh. Somebody that made you feel alone or left out. Um, this is the I don't want to be alone card, but it is like I'm not going to wait forever on somebody to either commit or to um, have a completion with something. This is not worrying here if, if you have to be alone. It's, it's coming out of a difficult time, um, a hardship of some sort, but it's, it's definitely coming out of it. It is the change. Because I have celebration and friends here on the bottom. Tell me about the five of swords. Now you have five, five, five.
Tell me about Five of Swords, the conflict for Virgo. It's something that's been going on for a very long time. It's a power struggle within the family. It's a power struggle within the family. And it does have to do with somebody either not opening up to help somebody else and their family and why that might be what the conflict's about. <clears throat> Speaking up is, is difficult. Ugh. Okay, tell me, tell me more about the hermit in reverse. Tell me why we're coming out of our shell or what this coming out of our shell is about. The three of wands and the completion. What you saw coming, this is a completion to something that you saw coming. This is the completion that you're wanting to have. I think this is a good tower, guys. I think it is. Um, also, talking to others on this journey. You're ascending three, four. Tell me more about six of six of swords in the reverse. Page of wands in the reverse. That has been coming across to me as all work, no play. But it could be simply waiting on this news for this completion. Waiting on the news for this completion. It's waiting on some, some kind of news that in a situation where you don't feel like it's very hopeful, you feel like you're going to be stuck in this um, storm because this is something that's gone on for such a long time. There's a lot of messages wanting to get through. They eventually do with the Page of Swords. It has to be something really well thought out. <clears throat> this is expecting something to be similar as the past and and not expecting much from it and and i think we're ready to release that energy yeah, true love that's my true love card um real love true love a soulmate energy here a soulmate, a partnership. Um, somebody has been trying to prevent this partnership. You know, that's a little specific, but it is coming across to me as some power struggle between families and wanting to not pass messages or to get in, in the way, intercede stopping something from moving forward or that is the goal i don't think it works because if you see this is connecting to this four of wands so whatever it is that you're wanting to be um successful a commitment love business it's definitely a commitment and you're definitely rebuilding or not even rebuilding i'm sorry building something Tell me about the tower energy. Tell me more about this. It's because we don't trust a situation that was off balance for such a long time. One person doing way more than the other. Yes, and conflicted. And conflicted because of this great disappointment and um, the, the fear of putting one foot forward. Uh, because something is already, uh, you know, not that stable. So this was an unexpected tower. Whatever this is, I think this ends up being news, though, that something's moving forward in a positive direction. I don't know why I'm thinking of my grandmother and grandfather at this time um, in a very good way. Like, it, it came to me as um, in the midst of some not so good times, it's really important for you to uh, well, use your mind and your thoughts to take you back to times that are wholesome, that, that give you some really nice memories that maybe you haven't thought of in a really long time. There was this give and take energy. Maybe it's regarding you and a, a grandpa figure with that king of cups there as a challenge. But there was something that was taught to you and you know how things are supposed to be 
fair and you're all about that and there is some kind of success so there's some kind of success really opening up with this there's a balance there's success and it's because somebody's been taught the right way you've been taught the right way then that might be what it is i don't know um give us more on this two of cups it's all about perspective <laughs> Some things needed a fresh new start or some things had to completely come down in order. You kind of knew whatever it was, what had felt like it lost its magic. And getting in the way, try, and trying to make it look like something wasn't meant to be, but it was. But it was. R might be an initial. RW might be initial um so four of wands again you know what i mean the sun is shining on how you truly feel and it's a warm wholesome energy with the sun i really like it so i think what i'm going to do at this point is pull some tea leaves for you and some uh what are these little cards? fortune cookie mixed with the fairy dust deck so Let's try all of these. I know it's really big, but let's try all of these. <laughs> Poor Virgo. Nice. I have triumph over troubles or obstacles. And this is the trouble or obstacle. The th it's the something that's been going on for a very long time. I have great worry over nothing. My favorite card, Whale. I have Hammock taking a vacation physically or mentally. And the basics, what is something founded on? What is the harmony between a partnership? And, and focus on that basic happiness is what's coming through. Happiness. Wholesome, basic happy, happiness. Whoa. All right, turquoise. A turquoise color, blue, it's healing magic works on you. Love, love is in the air. A great time for commitment and taking things to the next level, for sure. Um, even if it makes somebody mad or some group mad, oh well. Medicine, veggies and fruit from yellow to blue like medicine, they're good for you. I have travel of all the things you can do, travels in the cards for you. I have rain, rain, rain comes today. Let all your troubles wash away. I also have celebrate, the time is right to shout, shout out loud. Don't hesitate to jump around. And this sun is bringing a lot of healing too. So somebody's health news might be getting better. You may be, yeah, you may have been really worried and then some kind of result comes in and it's like a, whew, relief. All right, six, I have Bell awakening. You're awakening to something. You're awakening to what? It, you're going to release with the crown. Six bell awakening. Also, harmony, love, and relationships. Number one, heritage, um, Eridia. And I have cloak to camouflage. Number 13, to cloak or to camouflage. Yes, okay. So that's what I've got um, going on for you. Sending you love and light. If you need a private reading, reach out to me in the description box. There is a way to do that. And yeah, bye.